Today on Rust Belt Airgun, I'm going to show you how to finish a Daisy BB gun rack like the ones behind me. Your first question might be, where do I get a Daisy BB gun rack? Glad you asked. They are currently only available for purchase at the Daisy Museum in Rogers, Arkansas, either by visiting the museum gift shop or for online purchase on their website. I have included a link below for online purchase. When you get your Daisy BB gun rack, it will be completely unfinished with just the raw wood pieces and required screws. The Daisy BB gun rack doesn't include any BB guns. In fact, the Daisy BB gun rack doesn't even come with instructions, but you can get the idea of how it is assembled from the picture on the Daisy Museum online store. In order to protect the wood, you must apply a finish such as a clear coat or stain. Before applying a finish, I recommend dry fitting all the pieces of the Daisy BB gun rack and a flat surface to see if there are any fitment issues. The sides of the Daisy BB gun rack already have countersunk holes, aiding in the process of installing the wood screws. I also like to drill a pilot hole, just a little smaller in diameter than the wood screw, through the mating piece. This prevents cracking of the mating piece when the screws are installed. The Daisy BB gun rack should lay completely flush on a flat surface once fully assembled. In addition, the bottom wood piece should be flush with the sides. If there are knots in the bottom wooden piece, you could hide them by placing that side face down. The Daisy BB gun rack must be disassembled before finishing. I also lightly sanded all pieces with a fine grit sandpaper and then cleaned them with a damp cloth. I chose Minwax Polycrylic Water-Based Clear Coat Protectant and Satin as the finish. I like the natural color of wood used in the Daisy BB gun rack. This clear coat is water-based, making it easy to clean up the brushes and almost completely odor-free. The sand finish does a good job of hiding any imperfections in the wood. Each wooden piece gets two coats of Minwax clear coat with light sanding in between. I suspend the sides of the Daisy BB gun rack with a chair using wire. This allows me to apply clear coat to all surfaces at once. As mentioned, I lightly sand all pieces of the Daisy BB gun rack in between clear coats with the fine grit sandpaper. It's important to remove all clear coat and sawdust residue in between clear coats with a damp cloth. Here's a picture of my impromptu clear coat finishing station. I put down a box to protect the underlying table. After the second clear coat, I lightly sand the ends of the wood pieces where they mate with the other wood pieces. Do not sand the visible areas of the wooden pieces at this time. I use a drill to remove the clear coat from the pilot holes I drilled for the screws. After the final assembly, I drill two mounting holes in the top wooden piece that is emblazoned with daisy. The mounting holes are three inches from each side piece and an inch from the bottom. I initially hold it in place with one screw first. I place a bubble level on the bottom wooden piece, then adjust the gun rack on the wall until the bubble is centered. Once level, I drive in the final mounting screw. Here is a picture of the finished daisy BB gun rack. I hope you found my post about finishing the Daisy BB Gun Rack informative. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Belt Airgun so that you stay informed of any new updates. Thank you.